Welcome to Varian One Shot. Arrow just returned to CW this past Wednesday, and Flash also returned this past Tuesday. And God, was that an amazing episode. But back to the topic on hand, Green Arrow. Most of us love the TV show. If not, we like the character in general. So since it's kind of a new thing where I've been giving you the origins of actual objects in the world of comic books, I figured it would be appropriate to give you an origin of Green Arrow's trick arrows, considering the show is back in full swing. In his career as Green Arrow, Oliver Queen has custom designed many unique arrowheads, many of which are interchangeable and can be used for any size arrow shaft. His protege Roy Harper also uses gimmick trick arrows, but now also uses all kinds of weapons as arsenal. The inspiration for building gimmick arrows was bred out of necessity. Before donning the costume identity of Green Arrow, Oliver Queen was abandoned on the island of Fiji and was forced to fend for himself. As we've all seen on Arrow, the first non-standard arrow he ever created was a flame arrow, which he used against drug runners working for China White. Since then, Ollie has used his wealth and resources to make any kind of specialty arrow he wanted. These arrows became a great use, especially during his days teaming up with Green Lantern. Once he became a member of the Justice League, his options grew even more and he was able to utilize the League's resources to advance his arsenal and increase their capabilities. Sometime later, Ollie abandoned the use of gimmick arrows and began using standard arrows exclusively. Even now, he prefers the use of more conventional arrows and doesn't use gimmick arrows nearly as much as he used to. However, desperate times often require desperate measures, and if the situation calls for it, Ollie will occasionally dust off a classic boxing glove or boomerang arrow. And since this episode is all about Green Arrow's arrows, of course I have to talk about a few of his most popular ones. You probably have his most popular arrow, which I just mentioned, his boxing glove arrow. This was a customized trick arrow with a life-size boxing glove in the place of an arrowhead. It's arguably one of the Green Arrow's most often used trick arrows. A bleach bottle arrow, during one of the lower moments of Ollie's life, he was forced to use a bleach bottle as an arrowhead to fend off a group of muggers. You have the Greek fire arrow, a customized trick arrow equipped with a tip that could inject a perpetually burning stream of fluid into a target. You have his explosive arrows that blew up on impact, and then just to go through some of his arrows even quicker, you have his drill arrow, glue arrow, buzzsaw arrow, firecracker arrow, flashlight arrow, handcuff arrow, net arrow, smoke arrow, and of course the list goes on and on. Basically, if you can think it up, Ollie probably had an arrow for it. In summary, Green Arrow started using trick arrows out of necessity, as I said earlier, then they just became a part of the character ever since. So even though he doesn't use gimmick arrows nearly as much as he used to, it's still what the Emerald Archer is known for.